안녕하세요 여러분 And now we're back So we're gonna begin with uh, rule number 4 We already discussed about the rule number 3 Now we're gonna go to rule number 4 4 uh, in present informal informal Korean words So rule number 4 Ha for informal All root verbs that ends with ha change into a then add yo for example hada the root verb would be ha then it will become he then the pres present informal would be heyo for example to unjon hada this is hada is to do unjon hada is to drive so the Root verb would be undon ha. Ah, we just gonna remove the da, then that would be the root verb. This one undon ha. Ah. Then it would be undon he. Then the present informal form would be undon he yo. So this is for the rule number four. Then rule number five. Real for formal. All root verbs that ends with real omit real then add piemnida. For example, palda in English is to sell. Then the root verb would be pal. So the present informal form would be palayo. And the present formal form would be pamnida. Since it ends with um, real, we're just going to remove the real. And then, since it has a, a vowel, so you're just going to add pm nida. So, pam nida. Now, let's proceed for the other examples. For example, so do rita. So do so do. So, this is the root verb. It ends with U. So it will be changed um, into. We're just gonna add uh, real. Then this would be uh, removed. Then you add OYO. So, DULOYO. It means to hurry in English. So the formal would be. This is the root verb. So we're just gonna add real, then this one is removed, then for informal, then for formal, we're just gonna add pimnida. It's because it ends with a vowel, mm. so pimnida, which means in English is to hurry, so, so lumnida. Next example is mutta. This is the root verb. We're just gonna remove the da, then mut. Then, since it ends with tigat, you will remove the tigat. It will change to real. Then add oyo. Or Then for formal, since it ends with. Uh, Consonant, we're just gonna add sumnida. Mul sumnida to ask in English. The third example is kumbuhada. Then they, you're just gonna remove the da and you will get the root verb, which is kumbuha. Then the informa is kumbuheyo. You're just gonna change the a to e, then add yo. Kumbuheyo. Then formal is kumbuhamnida. In English is to study. Then next example is kumkuta. Kumku. That is the root verb. Remove the ta. Then you have your root verb. Then for the informal, you're just gonna change it to uh, oyo. You add Oyo, so kumkoyo, 
and if you are kind of uh, you don't understand this one you go back to the rules that I taught you from rule number one to rule number five so that you can understand this one then for the formal it would be uh, you go back to the root verb then you add bim nida since it ends with the uh, con uh, vowel u so kum Nida to dream. Then the last one is kolda. You remove data, then you're gonna get the root verb. Then the formal is so let's go back kolda, then root verb. You're just gonna remove data, then cool. Then for informal, since it ends with real, then has a vowel o. So you're just gonna add oyo, koloyo. Then, because it has a real, it ends with real, the root verb. So you will um, do the rule number five. So you have to remove the real, then and add dimnida. So kumnida is to hang in english and then for the past tense based on present informal without yo informal would be sang shiat o yo then formal is sang shiat smnida for example mukta in english that is to eat that is the uh english Okay, then the root verb would be mo, since it ends with a consonant kyo, so has a o um, vowel. So the present informal informal would be mo ko yo. You have you have the root verb, then you just gonna add o yo. So you go back to the as I said, from rule number one to rule number five, so that you can understand the examples. Then the present formal would be, since the root verb ends with vowel, so you're just gonna add sumida, mok sumida. Then the past informal would be, it means that you ate already, is past. So you're just gonna add the sound si then oyo moko soyo then the past formal would be you get the root verb mo then o you add then sang siyot then sunida moko sunida then the future tense is based on the root verb for example in formal ends with ko yu ends with consonant you're just gonna add u then for ends with vowel you're just gonna add real koyeyu and if it ends with real you add koyeyu this is for the uh, basis is the root verb and for the formal you would add get some and I hope you understand the rulings from rule number one in my uh, other video. You go there. Rule number one, two, three, four, five. So that's for it now. So I will discuss this one for the next coming video. So I hope you learned something. And Hope you're gonna see my upcoming videos. Thank you so much. See you next time.